Welcome to our information on the nitrogen cycle. So, uh, today I'm going to explain the nitrogen cycle, maybe in a different way than what you've seen on uh, any YouTube videos or whatever. Um, so, one of the first questions you've got to ask yourself is, why do we care about the nitrogen cycle? Well, the reason that we care about the nitrogen cycle is because organisms need nitrogen to survive. Okay, think back to your biomolecule stuff. Um, amino acids, proteins, they contain nitrogen. So without nitrogen, you can't make pro proteins. Um, DNA, the A stands for nucleic, okay, but it also has nitrogen in it. Okay, so there's two essential molecules that we need that need nitrogen. So the reason that the nitrogen cycle is so important is because without it, we're just not here. So organisms, organisms need nitrogen to make proteins. And remember, proteins are enzymes too, DNA, amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins, and other biomolecules, okay? So there's a few other things um, like RNA, etc. Molecules. I can't spell molecules. Okay, so that's the why. Okay, the next part is where does this nitrogen come from? So this is a good one, right? Because nitrogen is everywhere. The atmosphere around us has 78% of it is nitrogen. So we breathe it in all the time, but unfortunately, we breathe it out all the time. Okay, so that nitrogen that we breathe out and breathe in, we cannot use it directly from the air. So it's a real problem. Okay, but where is it? Well, we find nitrogen in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere. Okay, 78% of it. Okay, but unfortunately, it is totally unusable. So, but it is in a totally unusable, unusable form. As you can see, COVID uh, break has definitely not improved my spelling. Okay, so we know why we need it. We know where it is. So the question now is, how do we get it out of the atmosphere? So the big question, how? Well, we rely virtually solely to get it out of the atmosphere by using microorganisms. Okay, so primarily, 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 bacteria, okay, that live in the soil, Help us to convert this atmospheric nitrogen. Help convert the nitrogen into usable forms. Usable forms. And those usable forms are mainly a substance called or substances, a group of substances called nitrates. So, what's our questions? What have we got? Why do we need it? Well, because it's the building block of some of the major biomolecules that we need. Proteins, okay? I mean, we know that everything is reliant on proteins. Where do we find it? Well, we find it in the atmosphere. 78% of our atmosphere is nitrogen, but it's unusable. We can't do anything with it in that form. And then the qu third question is, how? Okay, how do we convert this unusable nitrogen that's in the atmosphere into something that we can, and when I say we, I mean organisms, can use, um, and we use bacteria, okay? Primarily bacteria. We can, or um, it can be converted by uh, lightning, okay, but we can't rely on that. And the form that we, that's mainly usable is a form called nitrates. Right then. 
So now we're going to move on to this fantastic diagrammatic representation of the nitrogen cycle. Okay, so let's start. We're going to start at the very top here and we're going to talk about the atmosphere. Okay, so this is where there is a huge source of atmosphere, uh, of nitrogen. So atmos, at, oh yeah, as you can see, not getting any better, atmosphere. Okay, and so the atmospheric nitrogen is in a form of N2. Okay, so that's our big pool or source of um, nitrogen. Okay, so let's trickle through and see what happens. How does this atmospheric nitrogen get into the ecosystem? How does it get into the plants? How does it get into the soil? How does it get to the sea? Okay, because sea creatures and plants need nitrogen just as much as anybody else. So, we're going to start over here and we're going to look at the oceans, okay? So, the atmospheric nitrogen gets into the oceans, okay? And the way it does that is we have what's called blue, green, algae. Or al I think you guys call it algae. Algae, okay? So this blue-green algae is able to take nitrogen um, and turn it into, or put it into the ocean. Okay, so it releases it into the ocean, and which in turn gives it to the plants and the animals in the ocean. Okay, and what do these guys do? They make proteins with it. Okay, so fish have proteins in them, just like you and I do. Okay, so that's one way it goes in. However, this is a bit of a dead end, okay, of our cycle. So, you know, cycles normally go round and round. This is a bit of a dead end. Because what happens is, when our plants and animals die, or poop, okay, we poop out some of this nitrogen. So when they poop, or they die, and therefore are decomposed, Okay, decomposed. All that nitrogen that was released into them is lost to the ocean. Okay, and it's usually unable to be cycled back into our um, cycle here. So that's one way that atmospheric nitrogen gets into the uh, ecosystem. Okay, another route okay, is, as I said, lightning. Okay, so here's our lightning here. So I'm gonna write down under our rain cloud, lightning. Lightning. Okay, so light, atmosphere, atmospheric nitrogen is in the air, as you know, and when you get a strike of lightning, that nitrogen is placed, believe it or not, into the soil, okay? the heat from the, uh, the lightning reacts and it makes the oxygen in the atmosphere react with the nitrogen in the atmosphere. And what we get in the soil as it hits on down are soil nitrates. Okay, if any word ends in eight, it means it's got oxygen in it. So we have soil that has nitrates in it, okay? And this is pretty important. So I'm going to highlight this one. Okay, so that's another route or route that um, nitrogen gets into the soil. Okay, so let's do the ones that are really uh, the biggies. So here we have a plant. Now this plant would love to get the nitrogen. However, it can't, okay, because it is incapable of taking the nitrogen out of the atmosphere. However, what we do have is a thing called nitrogen-fixing bacteria. So nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Now this nitrogen-fixing bacteria, fixing means that it takes it out of its free state and it fixes it, it pushes it on, it reacts it to, it bonds it to another um, element. So basically, this bacteria take it out of the air and they make it into a compound, okay, that we can then use. 
And believe it or not, the compound that they make it into is nitrates. Okay, so atmospheric nitrogen up here is captured, if you like, by these nitrogen fixing bacteria and they turn it into a nitrate, which is in the soil. Okay, so now this is the important part. So, okay, it's in the soil, big deal. Okay, fertilizers, they have nitrates in them, okay, because nitrates help plants grow. Okay, they help them make these biomolecules that we need. So, how do these nitrates get into our plants? Okay, well, the plants take them up. Or, another word for taking them up is assimilation. Okay, if you've ever watched Star Trek and you talk about the Borg, they assimilate um, different organisms. Okay, they take them in. Well, this is the same sort of concept. Okay, plants take up or assimilate okay the nitrogen or the nitrates okay and i put nitrates in there okay so these nitrates in the soil are taken up by the plants okay and then the plants do a whole load with them okay so let me just highlight your assimilate because that's an important one okay so story so far atmospheric nitrogen is fixed by this bacteria. They take it out of the atmosphere and they turn it into nitrates, which you can find in the soil. Plants suck up or assimilate that nitrogen and then they start to use it, okay? And they make stuff with it, okay? They make all these compounds that contain nitrogen, these biomolecules that we all know about. So, um, and then of course, if the plants do it, uh, the animals eat the plants, the animals eat the compounds within the plants that contain the nitrogen. So we then take in these nitrates or these nitrogen products that we need so that we can make amino acids, we can make proteins, etc. So plants and animals make proteins with the nitrogen. Okay, so we use it. Okay, so now here comes a sad story. Okay, sometimes, eventually, the, all these nitrates and nitrogen um, products are inside us. Okay, when we die, okay, they're still in there, aren't they? Okay, they don't just sort of fly out. So when we die or we poop, okay, these um, nitrogen compounds, okay, will be here. So animals and plants, for this matter, animals and plants poop and die. Okay, not in that order. Well, maybe it is in that order. Okay, so there they are. Well, what happens next is that nitrogen that was taken out of the atmosphere is trapped. Okay, now if, um, but as you and I both know, right, that when um, things die, they decay. Okay, and what decays them? Well, or um, the decomposition is done by bacteria. Oh, not more bacteria. So, decomposers, decomposers, feast, if you like, feast on poop, okay, and dead bodies. Okay, to produce ammonia. Now, you may have heard of ammonia, okay? Ammonia is really stinky, okay? It's not a great um, chemical. It's not a good substance for us, okay? Ammonia is that smell when you know when you... If you go into a really stinky bathroom, public bathroom, and it's got that real acrid smell of pee, okay? Well, what that is, is um, pee originally has urea in it, okay? And urea, when it breaks down, turns into ammonia. And so if you're in a bathroom that's not been clean for a while, and there's been pee on the floor, anything like that, then you start to get that real strong ammonia smell because that urea in the pee is breaking down, and so you get this smell. So ammonia is not good. Okay, it's not good for it. It's bad. Okay, so 
And it's better for plants too, okay? Ammonia is not a good substance for us. So then what happens, these decomposers that produce the ammonia, luckily we have another type of bacteria which turns this bad ammonia into good, okay? So these are called the nitrifying, nitrifying bacteria, which are good. And what they do is they turn this bad ammonia back into the good nitrates, which are then taken up by the plants, which are then eaten. Oh, die. So can you see this internal cycle going on here? Okay. Also, if you wanted to, um, just an, an abstract way of getting the um, nitrogen into the soil, we also have artificial fertilizers inorganic, which means they're not from plants. Okay, so if you put manure, that's different. Manure would be an organic fertilizer. Okay, but an artificial inorganic fertilizer would be the stuff that you buy from Home Depot. Okay, so they put the nitrates in the soil, and here we go. And for a long, long time, but um, the nitrogen is gonna be stuck in this cycle here, just going round and round and round. Now, remember at the very beginning of this um, unit, yesterday, I posed the, initial, the essential question of why is the nitrogen cycle similar to Harriet Tubman? And you're probably thinking, huh, she lost her mind? Well, this is the reason. Sometimes these nitrates are able to escape, okay? They're able to escape the soil, and instead of being assimilated by these plants taken up, that we have a third or a different set of um, bacteria, and these are called the denitrifying bacteria. These are my favorites. The denitrifying bacteria. And what these denitrifying bacteria do is they release the nitrates, the nitrogen from the nitrates, back into the atmosphere. Okay, so they're releasing these slave nitrogens that have been going round and round and round forever back into the atmosphere. Okay, they're freeing them. Okay, and so that's why I call them the Harriet Tubman, Tubman of bacteria. Okay, because they're freeing these poor nitrogens that never even knew they were captured. Okay, and they release them back into the atmosphere. Now there's just one last way of getting some of these nitri nitrates or nitrogen products that are trapped in the soil. Sometimes the ones that are lost to the ocean thousands and thousands of years ago. Okay, and that's through volcanic ash or activity. Okay, so activity. So volcanoes, when they spew ash and stuff, they spew it into the atmosphere, okay? And then it goes back in. And then not too long after, lightning, boom, back in. Or hey, nitrogen fixing bacteria, suck it in. Goes back through, gets stuck, gets stuck, gets stuck. Oh, free. Okay. So this is our nitrogen cycle. So let's write down a little bit about some of these steps. Okay, so I'm just going to move it up a slight tad. Okay. Still see it there. Okay, have I got enough room? I think so. So let's look at these steps. Stages. So first of all, we have nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation. Okay, and nitrogen fixation, remember, is where these nitrogen fixing bacteria take nitrogen from the atmosphere and they turn it into nitrates. Okay, so bacteria and or lightning um, convert free, because they were free, free, free house elves, free atmospheric, atmospheric nitrogen in the form of N2 into 
nitrates. So they change free nitrogen into nitrates, okay? Either by lightning or by these nitrogen-fixing bacteria. So I'm going to give that an oh, orange, okay? So that's our first one, nitrogen-fixing, okay? And that's done by nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Okay, now the second route is, um, the second part of this is assimilation. Okay, so remember we've got our nitrates in the soil, so now the plants assimilate them, they take them up. So the next process is called assimilation. Okay, so this is the process when plants take up or assimilate usable nitrate. So at this point, the nitrogen is in a form that can be used. So use, I have to spell that. I'm just going to put it on. usable uh, nitrates from the soil. Okay, so if we've got these nitrates now that are good, we can use them. Assimilation means that the plants take them up. Okay, so they're starting to use them. And let's go yellow on that one. Unfortunately, I don't have all my highlighters. So we're just going to have to deal with orange and yellow only today. Okay, number three. So what's the next process? Well, um, the next process is what's called ammonification. Okay, and this is where the animals have died. Okay, so at this point, we've assimilated it. We're using it. We're making these uh, different molecules with it. Okay, but the plants and the animals poop, or they die, or a bit of both. Okay, and then these nitrogen compounds go back into the soil, okay, by these decomposing bacteria. So this is called ammonification. Ammonification. Remember, ammonia is bad. Think of pee, stinky. So this is the process or process, I always forget which way you say it, where animals or plants poop and or die, putting nitrogen compounds, so the nitrogen compounds, so we're talking about proteins, DNA, RNA, blah, 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 okay, into the soil, for the decomposing bacteria, bacteria, to turn into ammonia, into ammonia. Okay, which is a bad form and it is unusable. Okay, so the plants can't take up this ammonia, they can't use it, so it's, it's bad. Okay, so let's go back to orange. There we have it. Okay, so here we are. Plants and animals die, and so therefore these decomposers turn this nitrogen from the proteins and stuff into ammonia. Okay, it's called ammonification. And it's in the cycle part, it's bad because it stinks and it's not good for the plants. They can't use it. Okay, the next part, our hard one. Now we're going to talk about nitrification. Okay, so the nitrifying bacteria take this bad um, ammonia and they turn it into good nitrates. Okay, so these are the nitrifying bacteria that do a process called nitrification. Nitrification. Okay, so they turn the bad ammonia from ammonification into good nitrates, which the plants can use again. Okay, so ammonia is toxic. Okay, is toxic. So this stuff is bad. Okay, uh, so it has to be converted. It has to be converted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
into nitrates. And this is done by nitrifying, nitrifying bacteria. Here they are, okay? And so what we get is ammonia, which is NH3 compounds. I wouldn't worry too much. Going to nitrites, nitrites with an I, which are NO2s, which are beta, which then are converted again into nitrates. Um, which are NO3s. So we're going from ammonia, which is bad, to nitrites, which are better, to nitrates, which are great. Yay! Okay, so that's nitrification. But remember, there's one last um, process and that is our Harriet Tubman bacteria. Okay, that's not their real name, but I like it. Okay, the last part, and I'm just gonna move this just a little tad so you can see it. Beautiful. Okay, the last process, oh gosh, and then I moved it completely. Okay, here we go. So the last, last process is called denitrifying, nitrification. So denitrification. And this is where these nitrates, which are in the soil, okay, which are in this sort of perpetual cycle of being taken up by plants, turned into all these compounds that are eaten by uh, animals, etc. Animals and plants die, they de get decomposed, they turn into ammonia, bacteria turns into bacteria. See? Some of them are able to escape because they get hooked up with these denitrifying bacteria over here which turn them whoop, back into free nitrogen, okay? So that's why they're the Harriet Tubman's. Okay, so this is the process. Ooh, process, or process, can't spell, of extra nitrogen in the soil being, con oh, I'll put it over here, converted into free atmospheric nitrogen. Okay, the Harriet, I like to call it the Harriet, Harriet. Tubman route. Okay, so denitrification. Okay, so let's do one last recoil and then we're done. So, we have the nitrogen cycle. Why? Because we need nitrogen in a lot of biomolecules. Where do we find it? We find it in the um, atmosphere. 78% of our atmosphere is nitrogen, but we can't use it. So how do we turn this nitrogen that we can't use into nitrogen we can? We use primarily bacteria and, you know, lightning here and there, but bacteria. So how does it work? Well, our nitrogen fixing bacteria does a stuff called nitrogen fixation, and they turn this unusable atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. Once it's in the soil as nitrates, the plants can use it, so they assimilate it. And this is called assimilation. And this is where they suck up those nitrates and then start to turn them into biomolecules that they can use. In the process of doing this, of course, the plants and the animals, or the animals eat the plants, and we take up those nitrogen compounds too, and we start using them for all the different um, biomolecules that we need. But alas, things poop and things die. And when they poop and die, this poop and um, dead bodies go into the soil. Unless you're, of course, cremated, and that's a whole different thing. So when they go into the soil, what happens is we get this decomposition, okay, where bacteria and stuff feast on them, and they turn 
our proteins and stuff into ammonia. And ammonia isn't good because we can't use it. The plants can't use it, okay? However, to the rescue, and this process is called ammonification because it's making ammonia. But don't worry, to the rescue, we have these nitrifying bacteria, which do a process called nitrification, and they turn that bad ammonia into the good nitrates, which are assimilated, and off we go again. Okay, and one, sometimes, some of this uh, nitrogen is lucky, and it comes across a <gasps> denitrifying bacteria. And what they do is they release the, uh, the uh, nitrogen from this cycle, and they release it back into the atmosphere. Okay, and then it starts all over again. Okay, well, I hope that was um, beneficial. Any questions? You know where I am.